Hello, boys, babes, and every bean in between. Welcome back. We are still in the villager place and the things and the stuff. But I've been doing a little bit of work here and there. Um, most of these guys are fully upgraded. Unfortunately, they're not the best trades, but they are trades. And they are clothes. And um, this guy, this guy's getting somewhere. <laughs> We've been busy. It's not been too, too, too much. But... I'm working on this guy. I still have not gotten a second chicken in here, which is a wee bit concerning because I keep... Oh, I just had to say it. I just had to say it. There we go. Now there's two. Perfect. Okay. Now that we've done that, um, I guess I just had to have the camera on for that to work. I haven't added any more villagers, unfortunately, but I have been busy with another project. But I must show it to you Super quick, so we can do this. So, we're gonna go through this little portal here. Uh, mind you, not a ton done's happened, but there was some off-camera mining. At least that's the best way I know how to describe it, is off-camera mining. Um, here's a tunnel. And this tunnel goes, insert super fast speed! goes to this point, which I intend to continue it further past this lovely little point here, but it goes to this point right here where it turns and it goes more speed. All the way out to this lovely point. Mind you, it isn't too pretty, but it takes you to this massive ravine inside that is a piglet up there. We, we need to work on safety-defying safety this area, but it takes you all the way to this portal, which is not linked to anything yet. We're not going through it, but this portal is approximately super close to where the portal for our starter is. Or, well, we haven't put that portal there yet, but we're, it's really close to where the starter base is, the lighthouse, so I should be able to so we travel back there through the overworld, get to this said portal, or build a portal over there, and it should auto-link to that one since that one's already lit. So, we are going to try and find our way back to the other portal so that we can roam our way back in the overworld to our starter base so that we can get back to building there because we haven't done it in a while, and I'd love to keep doing it. But if that's set up, that means we can more quickly and efficiently get back and forth between the villagers to continue to work on the villagers while also working on building and other things and resource gathering and that kind of stuff. Unfortunately, this tunnel is awful and I am going to eventually increase the roof height to be three and possibly put like soul sand in here so I can get some soul speed boots or something. But for now, it is what it is. It's super slow. But I do want to stop and appreciate how gorgeous this is. <laughs> but a big old tunnel has been made. A lot of work has been done. Plus side, lots of basalt, lots of blackstone, and a handful of nether rack, which is good. Great building blocks. I hope to use them in the near-ish future. But we need to get back to the overworld, and we need to start heading back to our starter base. But on the way there, we're going to have to go find some more calcite. Because we need that for the next level of lighthouse that has been sitting literally just an awkward cylinder for a hot minute. So, we're going to go gather those materials on our way back home and be on our merry way. So I'll bring y'all back in just a minute once we're leaving and I'll show you what we get up to out there. Alrighty, I think we're all set to go. We have some iron, we have some other materials. I've gathered up the diorite I do have here, the granite I have here. I'm gonna need more obsidian, but I think, I think that I have a lava pool back at the starter base I can use to get some obsidian from. I'm not worried about that. Problem, it's night. Let's not, let's, let's not do that. Let's not go adventuring at night. I may or may not have just dug this out. There, there was a cave here. I took the die right out so I gotta use it but that's not important we're gonna incorporate that into this build some house and looks super cool um so let's get out of here um yeah um we're gonna leave our cats here 
because I do not want to have to worry about them in the travels. I also think I have cats back at my other house still. Um, I did get these bees last time, but I'm not touching them yet because I don't have a silk touch axe. And I'm gonna leave, oh boy, he's gonna stay right over there. Don't touch my crops. But we're gonna leave everything else here. We still wanna get that redstone farm built eventually out of the witch hut, but it won't just be for the redstone, it'll also be for the glowstone in addition to the bottles, which I think is super useful. But for now, that will be left behind for later project because we got other, ooh, other things to do. Where is my shovel? And that first thing we're gonna do is try to head back to our home. So, I'm gonna keep walking. Hopefully we can find our way over to the Mesa, where I had found a whole bunch of um, amethyst, not amethyst, yeah, amethyst geodes that I wanna go in and get clear, clear the calcite out of so that we can go and build the next layer of our lighthouse. So let's hippity hoppity our way across and I will find it eventually. And I'll bring y'all in once we're there, because this is a long walk, and it shouldn't be too exciting. All right, so there is a boat there, and I... Where'd it go? I thought I saw an amethyst geode over there. Maybe? I don't think so, but there's a boat. We're going to a boat. There's a mesa. I don't know if I've been in this boat before, so we're going to poke it and see what happens. Um... I do kind of want to poke with that portal. I might have been here. I might have been here. Let's find out. I have not been here. Um, I will take a buried treasure though, happily. Okay. What do we got? Not bad, not great. Oh, let's not drown. Okay. Um. Hmm, let's see where this goes. Going in a direction until I see change on the map, and I don't know how to read maps, so. Hmm. Hmm. Ah. Hmm. Let's just go to the maze. We'll come back to that later. I stopped recording and boom, I noticed the amethyst that's way down here. Where is it? I know I saw it. There it is. Let's get ourselves inside here. Just in time. There was an opening. Genius. I am. I have brains sometimes. I also have no inventory space. Again. Probably should have thought this further ahead. Um. Well, let's get as much calcite as we can, so that we can go about our business. Oh, glitchy. All right, let's get down to business. Oh, Kidoki, we got just under two stacks, from, or just over two stacks from that. Um, there's probably more I can get out of it, but due to the fact that I have like no inventory space right now, I'm gonna focus on getting back to our home first, so that we can empty our inventory and keep hunting for them. I know where a couple are that are a lot closer to home. So we're gonna head to those after we drop off everything else so that we actually have the inventory space to collect things. So let's get home and let's see what we can do. It's home. Look at it, look at it, wait for it. That's not the right island. It's one of our islands. It's almost home. We're almost there. I see, I see glowing, I see glowing. It's home. Hello, home. 
It's so good to see you and your weird cylindrical thing I left. Hello, island. What a wonderful island you are. Well, good to be here. Um, <laughs> Let's get our inventory emptied so we can get some more calcite, some more diorite, and get that next level built. I think that will be great. There's a bee here. Hello. Let's not crash into that island. But this is a good, this is a good. This feels great to be home. We're going to need a couple more pieces of obsidian so we can make a portal. But then we can travel back and forth so much more efficiently. I'm debating between doing a soul sand speedway and a ice speedway down that hallway or down that tunnel. But I'm not sure which, so we're going to debate about that for a while. But we are home. Hello, bees. This is great. I have missed you. You're wonderful. I still need to texture this. I have missed this place. Let us go and sleep and set our spawn here. Hello, home. Hello, angry man in a boat. Ah, it feels wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Alrighty, let's enter your inventory. Um, I forgot how this was organized. Add to the calcite collection and the diorite collection. Looks good, looks good. We're gonna need more, but that is a good start. I, I've forgotten we had some here. Um, huh, we're gonna need some more barrels. You can hold on to this for me then. Um, where is my shinies box? Ah, shinies. Perfect. Forgot I had TNT. I have more iron than I know what to do with, so we'll leave some of it here. The buried treasure map can go there. Um, actually, let's go ahead and take the diorite and calcite we have and start the next layer. Um, we're gonna need more diorite. I'm gonna get some more diorite, then we'll start the next layer, and I will bring all in once I have gotten that started. I do have to figure out how much size difference I will be including for this. But yeah, I'll bring y'all back in a second. Hello, bee. I've missed my bees. Okay, back to the surface we came. I got a little bit of goodies, not too, too much, but a whole bunch of other stuff is going on in my inventory. So that is there. Huzzah. Um, we're gonna go up there and get this shape started, though, once we sleep. Come on. Let's sleep. Sleep? No, I guess eh, we don't want to sleep. Okay, up we go. So, a lot of my thought process on this was I want to do a combination and mixing of blocks. I've done this before. If you've seen my stuff on the God Hunter SMP, I have a giant lighthouse that is using this exact same texture palette. I'm gonna have to move this when I, I just realized that. But I thought it was super cool when I used it then, and I think I'm going to reuse it for this because the palette is super nice and it has this nice worn texture that looks like something that's been through quite a few storms. So that's the feeling I want to go for texture wise. And then occasionally we'll throw in a couple of those just so that it looks like it's not completely worn, but that it is older and it has been through some things. So that's my thought process on this. Trying to keep it more randomized, but the calcite is definitely the texture I prefer overall of all of the colors and mixes that I have available for this, just because the calcite looks better in my opinion. So. We're gonna have to get more of it because of that. However, I do think this is what we're gonna go for. Mind you, this is super busy up close, but from a distance, it looks so cool. So, on that note, let's get this built up a bit more. Gotta rearrange our torches and try to get a move on so that we can get this section done and dusted quickly. Because I would like to get this lighthouse done so we can do some other builds. But I really want to continue with the harbors in this direction. In addition to going over to this mountain and these mountains. And adding some sort of like similar bridge style home. Oh. Oh dear. That's fine. Um. But I want to add some bridge styles structures to this. And some homes and buildings. And other sort of city like features that would go along with a cliff dwelling society. 
but also I want to make it look like they're heavily interacting with a boat dwelling society that has just so happened to park themselves out here. And I want to create some sort of little crossover world where they are trading and interacting and buying and selling from each other. And I want to create that. And so that's the goal I'm going to go with for the builds out here. So we got to get this underway so I can get into that. Also, I got to do a lot of resource grinding for that. But, you know, so let's get this first ring done so that it will be ready for building purposes. Alrighty. We're going to go up several layers with this, though. But I think this is what the starting layer is going to be. So, like, we're going to go up, I think, four or five more blocks higher than this. And then we'll start the red with the granite and then another layer with um, the white. And then we'll have our lighting fixture at the top. I don't think I'm going to actually use redstone to automate it this time. I know I've done that in the past, but I don't think I can make a more a compact enough system for that to work. We might change our mind and try it, but I think that's what we're going to do. So let me get this built and I'll bring y'all back momentarily. Okay, so I've gotten a little bit of work done, not too, too, too much. Um, I got the top, that section done. Um, I was going to start the next section when I realized, um, I didn't show you guys, but also that I didn't actually make a stonemason when I went over to the village. I meant to make a stonemason, and upon that thought, I realized I still don't have a portal here. But I then got distracted and started working on the dock a little bit more so that it have some more supports in it. So that looks a little bit better so far. But I have yet to actually come back and get the portal set up. So he's still there. Um, that's our new pet. I will name him eventually. We'll also probably put him further away from the island so he doesn't actually blow anything up. But this is, hold on. I actually realized it didn't spawn proof at the top. So let's make some torches. And climb on up to the top so that we can spawn proof this. Um because we don't need creepers falling on our heads. So. Actually, no, we want them out here on the corners. That should be good enough. But I do like how much taller this is feeling. I think this is gonna look really good once I get the next two layers on. Um, So let's get that portal set up. I unfortunately don't have enough obsidian. I'm going to run down underground real quick and grab a little bit more. Build a portal, I said. It'll be fine, I said. There's no lava in these caves, I say. This is fine. I'm just getting more resources. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I will find lava eventually. Eventually. Right? I knew it. I'd find lava eventually, and apparently I've been here. Let's just... I think I need four more. Yeah, it was four more. I think. Okie dokie, I make a path and I don't use it. Um, We have obsidian now, we have four. Let's find the rest. Where, oh where, do I store anything? Because I'd like to be able to visit my village. Yay, okay. Get this, this, and this. Let's go put this in place and hope for all things sacred in this world that we can get through to this portal and get connected to the right one and then I don't have to go find where this other one ends up. The other one's already lit, so it should work, I think. I'm going to regret this. Come on, come on, come on. <gasps> it worked! It's in the place it's supposed to be! Yay! Okay. I'm not overly excited. You are. It's fine. But that means I can get to the villagers much, much more easily. I will have to come back here because I didn't think this through when I initially started digging the tunnel. But I didn't stop and make it three high, so I can't run and jump through it. So, that's a thing. And most of it's basalt, so it's not the most efficient mining. But it's fine. It's fine. Just, just, it's just building blocks. It's building blocks. But we're gonna have to come back and fix this. Um. So yeah. 
it sucks it sucks but it is what it is let's do this though so nothing can just fall in on me let's also put in torches here so we get minimized spawnages in this area i don't need monsters roaming into my base okay i like where this is out here so that nothing's gonna roam inside my house in addition to it's gonna be a cool view once i get the boats built out here and that's longer and i've gotten another one out here somewhere i think it'll be pretty cool i definitely am gonna work with this so i hide it a little bit better so it looks better but i think that's actually a really good spot i did not think through that being a possibility with this so yay um but i do think we're gonna add one more support for this dock first one two three four five okay hopefully this goes right where i need it to and we can just go up come on Please don't drown, please don't drown, please don't drown, please don't drown. Ha ha! But I want to extend this, I think, another 10 or so blocks. Which means we're going to need a lot more spruce wood because this is really deep. And then I want to come back and texture this later, but that's not going to be this episode kind of deal. So, I'm excited by this. This is great. I'm still laughing at the sheep is stuck in a boat. There's also a cat stuck in a boat and a creeper stuck in a boat. They're not stuck together, but they're all here. So, I think... That is everything we are aiming for today. It's been a pretty successful collection of episodes, or episodes, events, but I think we've gotten a lot done today. Mind you, we did just do a lot of traveling and trying to get here, but it came out pretty well. I do plan to do a lot more building next time. I just gotta get on that resource grind to get a bunch more materials. But until then, it has been an absolute pleasure Thank you for coming. Come back next time. Is that a turtle? That is a turtle. And hopefully, hopefully we can catch more miscellaneous animals and boats. Like that friend right there. But I will see you guys next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Also drink water.